getting started and staying started. Hey, this is Glendon. If you like the content of this channel, and I know you will, go ahead, tap that, and leave a donation. With that, let's jump into this. This is something I've seen. Last, I've seen it all my whole life, but really, since I've been in this side of the business, I've seen so many people get started. Go hard for a day. Go hard for a week. Go hard for a month. Go hard for a few months. Go hard for maybe a year. And then when those results do not come, they're out. And they start saying things such, well, it wasn't for me. Or God didn't want me to have it. I think that's weak. I'm sorry. That whole God didn't want me to have this guy. Really, you didn't work hard enough or you had a really jacked up plan is my thing. And having a jacked up plan is part of becoming successful. Because how do you develop better plans? From the information that you gain from the jacked up plans. I've messed up plenty of times in my life. But the, the real key is once you get started is to stay started. And one of the things that you should do is moderate your expectations. You should not burn out with trying to make everything happen in a week. If it took you a few years to become janky, it's gonna it might take you a few weeks, months, or years to become unjanky. So you gotta look at that. I recommend that if you wanna start a business, take an hour a day, and one for that one hour, work on something related to that business. Say you have a business you have to incorporate, right? Work on finding out what's the best corporate structure for your business. Work on uh, creating that. Work on putting that stuff together. Work on that, and then you get to a point where that's done. Then you work on another part. You work on business, whatever business thing you have to do. But if you, this is the thing. And if you devote an hour a day, five days a week, or seven days a week, if you're really hungry, over a month, that's 28 to 31 hours. Quarter, that's 120 hours. At some point, it's going to build on itself. But everybody wants to do, I'm successful right now with bam, 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 bam. It doesn't work like that. One of my, uh, and Hustle University actually put out the average time it takes an entrepreneur to earn their first million is 11 years. 11 years. So take that to heart. Average time. This is a recent data. Average time is 11 years. I think when we look at the Ubers, the Googles, the Microsofts, that even with some of those corporations, it took a while for them to get to where they are, that we become blinded by the money, the fame, the success and most of us mere mortals are not going to even get anything close to that. Now, to back that down, you can still have a wonderful life without being a billionaire. You, you can't. Trust me. It happens. You can have a great life without even being a millionaire. Trust me. It happens. Once you get to the point where you control your time, you become rich. When you get to the point where you control your time and maintain yourself, you become rich. And it's just a matter of scaling that paradigm. And that's what many people are chasing money and they chase the money and they get the money. But they don't realize that they created a chase that they can't get out of because the minute they stop chasing the money, the money stops coming in. And they're like, what do I do? You've got to build a better business model that isn't predicated on you always chasing money. You got to build a business model that says, hey, come here. Yeah, come here. I got something for you. You got you got to work on that where people are coming into your sales funnel, whatever you're selling. And once again, I'm not talking about any kind of business. I mean, I'm not talking about one type. I'm talking about all types of business. So there's something that you can do to make things better for yourself, something that you can do to slow the roll down and build your business now let's go back to the hour a day say you can only devote an hour a day for two years do you have any clue to what you can learn in two years if you're consistent 
You might build a business that's making you three, four, five, six, seven hundred bucks a month in that hour a day because you add it up. Because this is one of the things, and this is what I like about what I do. Once you start building stuff, it's built, it's done, and you can sell it again and again and again and again and again. Whereas if you're always chasing money, then it becomes chase, chase, chase. You stop chasing, the money stops coming. You want to build something that is way more sustainable than just chasing money. So that's how you get started and stay started. All right, this is Glendon. And if you want some more information or you want to join a course that will really help you with this, uh, check out the link here. I got a special offer for folks who are just coming to the channel and you know, get to the end of the video that you can go ahead and get this special 30 days to $2,500 package. And with that, I'll see you on the good side.